they weren't gonna fight me at all. Uh, but of course they wanted me to spread the word. So I'm assuming that's why they let me uh, hang around. The Ripper is really good. I, I, I love that gun. Or that, that gun. Basically a chainsaw. <laughs> Legion Explorer armor. What about, uh, what's his face's armor? Or... Recruit Helm. Uh, faction armor. You have equipped faction armor. Faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction. A member of that faction now consider you a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight, regardless of your personal faction relation with them. Uh, any reputation changes that occur while wearing the faction armor still affect your character. Security personnel such as guards and watchdogs will see through your disguise and alert anyone. Okay. I didn't want to put it on. I wanted to uh, repair it. Oh, that sound effect was from Fallout 1 and 2. That little beep. That was when you completed a quest in those games. That's pretty cool. Did they put that sound effect in here? Um, I think we had that on. I don't really want to be a member of that. Let's drop that leather armor. Uh, Charisma and guns, Sheriff Duster. Uh, we'll keep that. That's 20 pounds. <clears throat> Armored. Bolt 13. I kind of want to keep that just because it's Bolt 13. So we're going to have to drop some stuff elsewhere. Um, probably have to drop some of this stuff here. Boxing times. A lot of the stuff I don't want to get rid of. Uh, what about miscellaneous? Um, hmm. You know what? I think we might just have to drop this, uh, this armor, though. <clears throat> huh. Uh, Quibasmok, how's it going, man? Welcome. Am I using any mods? Yes. Uh, let me show you. These are the uh, mods that I'm using. Um, you can take a look at that list there. Uh, let's see. Uh, laser rifle. You know what, I'm gonna drop this laser rifle. You probably won't be able to use it. Drop, drop those. All right. You got 45 experience for what? For probably completing a uh, quest thing or whatever? Fresh apple has worn off. Let's go check the town hall now. Whoa! Enter a building and someone's head explodes. All right, Harold. What do you look like, Harold? <laughs> like how I could just pick up his body, just like. Ugh. Nope, you're not the Harold that I know. But that makes sense, cause you know. What happened to Harold in Fallout 3? Uh, whoa, everything's uh, showing there, Lisa. Yeah, and it, this is the thing, like with the mod that I have, uh, like if people are tortured or clothes are ripped or whatever, um, oh god. Um, that I have a mod that changes that, so that way they look like that. Which I think looks better anyway. Oh my god, man. I really need to stop walking on mines. Let's see. 
First, I'm looking on the floors to make sure there's no... No mines. Dennis, poor Dennis. Check your toilets. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa! Random dogs. How did you miss him? Uh. Oh, whoops, I don't have uh, stim packs as something. <clears throat> Let me uh, put stim packs up here. Wait, which one is it? Three. Stim packs need to be three. Problem is, is we can't really loot a lot of stuff right now. Need a lock pick of 75 or higher. When are you gonna open that? Nothing there. <clears throat> How big is this town hall? Jesus. Die, you mutt! There we go. There we go. There's a lot of free dog meat in here, but... Not gonna take it. We gotta look through all of these before we go upstairs. So it doesn't look like there's any survivors in here. Um, looks like they pretty much all died to uh, the dogs and stuff. Oh no, little child! You know, with that outfit and the way that you look, you look like you could be a little sister from Bioshock. But you're probably not. You're probably not. Alright. Well, poor kids be dying. See, this is why... This is why we need to... Uh, be against Legion and everything that they do. Although, I mean, a, an evil playthrough would kind of be fun. I just don't... I just can't. I just can't do it. Can't be evil in games, I don't know why. Door inaccessible. <clears throat> okay. So has anybody here played uh, Fallout 4 yet? It's been out for, what, almost a year now? Uh, just curious to see if anyone here has played it or not. There's a whole lot of nothing in here. Dead bodies. Ninja Boost says I has. Did you uh did you like it? Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I guess that's assuming that you beat the game, which you probably have. Body bits. Oh, wait. Well, there's a, another area down here. Let's check this out. Or did we already check in here? Yeah, I think we already checked in here. <clears throat> Let's go upstairs. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting I'm about to start this game in a few days, but the graphics kind of doesn't convince me enough uh, Am I am I honest spinning this game as age months? Yeah um, 
that's why a lot of people tend to uh, to mod the game. Um, I think the graphics definitely look a little bit nicer with mods um, compared to what they look like vanilla. Um, but I mean, when this game come out, 2010, I think it came out. Uh, so it's not too bad. And you just killed yourself, dogs. Uh, you did like it, but you didn't find it as immersive as New Vegas. Yeah. There's a lot of things they did to simplify, uh, simplify the game, and uh, that kind of already has me like not liking it. But we're still gonna play it. But yeah. A lot of simplification. <clears throat> See, there's a whole lot of... I didn't realize this town hall was that big, but I mean, considering that it was like... Pretty much a two-story uh, sort of building here. Oversimplified in some parts, but it's still a riot. Whoops, I didn't want to go in there. I wanted to go back in here. So we checked there. God, I have my pit boy light on, but it just seems like it's not even on. What is that? Uh, I don't know what that is, but that's probably a reference to something. That almost looks like a... Uh, like an archer style cartoon there. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Kind of funny. So there's upstairs. Let's look around here. Sylvia is dead. Ooh. A bunch of nothing there. Okay. Let's go up here. Town Hall, Stein's office. First aid box. Oh, yes. Uh, sound like somebody was walking up in here. Let's drink some Nuka Cola. How can we play Fallout and not drink Nuka Cola? <clears throat> now, if I drink Nuka Cola, does that stack with the uh, the HPs there? Sarsaparilla. Take those. We're gonna have to drink a lot more of those. Where's the the sarsaparilla? So we have 16 pounds of sarsaparilla. Drink a little bit away. And I accidentally hit a stim pack there, so now it's... Now that's dumb. Pack of cigarettes, can't grab. I probably should have like backed out before I came in here and sold some stuff to people. That probably was the smart thing to do. Doo -doo -doo. We check there. Let's go check these doors here. <clears throat> but I think we'll probably get around to <clears throat> playing uh, Fallout 4 when probably all the DLCs are out, I think. Uh, I think that's like summer, like the end of August or September or something like that. When the Nuka World comes out, which looks kind of cool. Mayor. Dang, Mayor, you got a like, big office here. <clears throat> oh, big book of science. That's the first time we've seen a, a science book. Big book of science. Yeah, science increased by three. 
There's not enough skill books in this game. Like, there's hardly been any uh, skill books. Ooh, a laser pistol. All this stuff in here. All these lottery tickets. What? Uh, I had a chance uh, playing Fallout 4 once, but frankly would prefer to master safer game. What? Are you talking about the uh, like Fallout 3 in New Vegas instead? Master Saper game. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Do we have another laser pistol we can... We do, okay. Bind those. Alright. Let's see what this terminal is all about. Reset mainframe connection testing prison rake. What are these? Tony was kind enough to build this terminal and set it up for me. All for 30 caps worth of Rosie. Ha. The life of a mayor suits me just fine. I'm glad I didn't go any further east. I'm making plenty of caps right here off Rosie and Sylvia, who attract plenty of interest from troops at the Mojave outposts. Guess you spend enough time standing around that backwater and you're ready to hop on something that looks like a mole rat and doesn't smell much better. Uh, and the local shops are all giving me a percentage of sales to the troops because it's my girls who bring them in. Ha! They think they're true negotiators for getting me to accept a 15% cut instead of 20%. Another year in this dump, two at the most, and it's back to the hub for me. Maybe I'll run for office there. Ha! The hub was in uh, Fallout 1, so that's cool. But they're referencing to that. Prison break. Uh, promising development if I say so myself. It seems things went, went to hell at the NCR Correctional Facility north of here. And escape prisoners are roaming free. Sounds like a bad thing. And would be if not for the political acumen and interpersonal alchemy of yours truly. Mayor Joseph B. Stein. Or Stein. Uh, I sent the gyms out to make the contact with the prisoners. Uh, or powder gangers rather. They insist on this name. To let, the, to let them know Nipton's open for trade with free turns with the girls as door prices. Ha! You know they went for that deal as sold by Little Jim. Anyway, Big Jim, rip. I see a lot of potential here, so so long as I can keep the NCR troops and powder ridiculous name from running into each other and shooting it out in the streets. Luckily, the troopers only come at night double... Uh... Entendre, or whatever. I don't know what that is. What is that word? Whatever. Uh, so if the pow powders will only come during the day again, I'll have them coming third time, the charm, and going. Yours truly. Eye roller. I can hardly believe my luck. Literally agape. Just now, I was approached by a rather intense young man calling himself Mr. Fox. When we were alone in my office, he let it be known that he is a member of Caesar's Legion. Uh, he knew that NCR troops and powder gangers often spend time in Nipton. It turns out the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups. The NCR for obvious reasons and powder gangers for harassing Legion raiders, Legion raiding, the Legion raiding parties on this side of the river. I didn't have time to think, I didn't have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the powders to kidnap the NCR troops at night. When both groups are in uh, in town, the Legion boys will scoop everyone up. For this civil task, I have been offered 8,000 caps. I could almost go back to the NCR right away, but who knows how much else how much else I might make off this Legion lackey. I'm going to start stockpiling some supplies in a safe house between here the Mojave Outpost, just in case I decided to head back home in a hurry. Very exciting. Interesting. Reset mainframe connection. What is that about? Quick save that and try that. Uh, I met Windows game called Saper. It's more involving than brand new Fallout, Fallout, in my opinion. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I've never heard of that. Saper. Connection reset. Handshaking complete. Uh... I don't know what good that did, but check that out. 
see if he's got anything good in here. Armor case. Merc Troublemaker, Merc Veteran. Not very good. Buff out. Uh, Nuka-Cola Victory, what is that? What is Nuka-Cola Victory? Uh, gain more HP, uh, AP, minus Perception. Kinda cool. And actually, now that I think about it, I remember uh, back in Fallout 3, uh, in one of the Nuka-Cola factories that we went into, they were throwing around the idea of different uh, different Nuka-Cola like flavors and stuff. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I guess they actually went through with it in this game. Uh, let's repair our revolver. Filing cabinet. So I'm pretty much right at the max I can be. Uh, uh, I see you're, uh, you are a full plot guy reading all that stuff. I usually skip those. Yeah, I think most mostly a lot of people do. I like to, uh, to see as much of the game as possible and talk to everybody and read everything uh, and all that. Especially like having played the previous Fallouts. You never know when you're going to come across something that references to those games, so... I like doing that. Uh, so I think we're done here. We looked at everything up in here. Nobody's alive. Everybody's dead. So I guess we go back to... Um, back to that girl at the NCR outpost? Some of the stories are the best things in the game, yeah. Sometimes you, you can come across some really cool stuff. Um, like not even not like not even just stuff like that where you where you have to read, but uh, like side quests and stuff. There's been some side quests in the uh, in all the Fallout games that have kind of been better than the main story, to be honest. Um, They've been a lot of fun stuff. Alright, so what kind of quest do we have to do? Um, head to Novak through Nipton. Ask around Novak about your attackers. Okay. Um, booted, we can go rescue the captives. Uh, and then go return to Ranger Ghost. Um, let's check in here first. Nipton Hotel. Probably have to rest in here. A lot of NCR troops. I'm gonna take the dog tags because I feel like I'll be referencing a lot to Fallout 3 with some of the mechanics of this game that remind me of it, but uh, you could get Brotherhood of Steel dog tags and turn them in for XP and uh, bottle caps and stuff like that. So I'm thinking you could probably do the same with the with these ones, these NCR tags. Uh, ooh, what did I get? I love that sound, by the way. Low-tech hacking pick locks. Uh, it's a crate sound from Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, these houses are all messed up here. Carton of cigarettes. Don't know how it survived, but it did. Check this house. Couldn't tell if I was looking at the ceiling or the floor. Uh. Foot locker. Oops, ball caps. Let me take those. Burn of cigarettes. Got any uh, hidden safes under the bed? Nope. Probably sleep in that bed uh, when we uh, finish looking in here. So I want to be able to see during the day. 
Uh, this is it. This is the smallest house ever. We're sleeping on the bottom here. Sleep for uh, six hours. It is 84 degrees in here. So pretty much we looked at all the houses here, um, all the areas around here. These guys are near death. How can I remove them? Uh, do I just shoot that? No. I was thinking maybe shoot the rope. Did I go in here? I don't remember. But all that food there on that table. there yeah we probably need to like really go someplace and start selling stuff um, I don't know who I would go and sell to though do, 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 do. oh you're talking about shoot these guys yeah I mean I guess so Oh, he's a powder ganger. <laughs> I'll shoot this guy. This guy can stay up there and just suffer. His powder gangers are just as bad. <laughs> Alright, this will probably be the last house we check before we get out of here. Uh, and go and sell some stuff. I really want to get a house in this game just so I can store all my crap there. <clears throat> Leather belt, it's empty. Caps. No safes in here. Nope. Okay. Turn out, down. Backyard. Do you only play old-fashioned games? Uh, uh, I mean, I wouldn't call <laughs> I wouldn't call New Vegas really old-fashioned. It's it's been out within the last ten years, but uh, yeah, I usually do only play uh, older games. Uh, I have played some recent stuff before, uh, like when Witcher Three came out. I played that uh, on day one of release um, and we, we streamed that on the channel for like two months straight and to this day I'm still uh, putting up videos on, on YouTube for it but uh, yeah if you're curious to see what sort of games we've played on stream before um, you can type exclamation mark games or you can scroll down and hit the uh, conquered um, panel that I have. That'll take you to a spreadsheet of all the games that we've played. All the all the games that we've played uh, since I started streaming uh, of last year. Do 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 do. What is that? Do, do, do. <clears throat> Ten, okay. Alright, so we've pretty much gone in every house here, checked a lot of stuff. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and... Where do we want to travel to? Because um, we do need to go save those people, but I want to trade. Let's sell some stuff. Actually, we're gonna go back to Good Springs and sell there. We're gonna sell to our pal Chet. Good old Chet. Ooh. 
Then and then after that, then sell some stuff. Whoa! What? I thought I hit good springs, but I guess I I uh I hit the water source probably. Bartender at the outpost has decent amount of cash. Um, the bartender where Cass is at? <clears throat> if so, I, I, we can go there. I don't mind. 